Good morning YouTube, I hope you are all really well. Today I thought I would do a day in the life, you've all been asking for one. Um, I didn't ever want to do a day in the life on a day when I didn't have any children because I know lots of my followers are mummies and you obviously want to see how I am mummying most days. Um, today is a Tuesday, Tuesday is my working day and Tuesday is the day that Spencer goes to nursery and obviously Oscar's at school and I've got quite an exciting day. I thought I would just take you along with me because it's really really interesting. So today I am working as a wedding dress model so I am modelling wedding dresses, they need to do a new lookbook for their new studio and I'm going to link everything down below um, where I'm going and who, who I'm going to see. Um, so this is a family friend um, but she but it is a job and uh, just in case you didn't you know thought it wasn't okay with Covid photo shoots are actually allowed. It is a-okay and really really exciting. It has taken me way longer to get ready this morning than I anticipated. I got up at six, I washed my hair, I only washed my hair yesterday but I thought no I'm having photos taken and you know what it's like, it wants to be really fresh. It's taken me ages but also because it's fresh it's kind of dropping out. The house is a total bomb site behind me. Um, I'm just going to go and finish um, putting my outfit together and then I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm actually wearing one of the outfits that were in my last video that you may have seen. Um, and that is this gorgeous Zara ruffle top and also these Zara trousers with my Axel Arigato trainers. I probably could wear heels today just because I've got no children but the studio's in Bath and I don't know how far it is from the car park so I'd rather be comfortable. The weather is so beautiful today. You know it's been so long since I've worn a bag. I'm like what do I put in it? <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I am in a little bit of a rush. I've had to fix my nails this morning, but this colour is so beautiful. It's just really nice and plain, and I thought it would be really good for taking photos. And so I'm actually so late. Um, she's absolutely fine with it because, um, as I say, she's my best friend's family, and um, I did say it's so hard to get ready. I, I think I would have had to get up at like four o'clock this morning if I wanted to be ready to leave the house at 9am. 9, 9 it just didn't happen with two children, getting them both to school and nursery. I got up and washed my hair. I woke up at six, I was in the shower by like half six and I still didn't manage to get ready on time. Because it's a hot day, I had to do all the sun cream and find the sun hats and yeah, it was just one of those. I'm actually going to have a banana quickly because I don't normally eat breakfast, but I don't know how long this is gonna go on for. Off I go and I shall see you in a bit. is this. 
think this has to be a firm favourite so far, even though it's the first one we've tried on, but this is just beautiful. So this is a love story dress, and I love the detailing on the back. So elegant. Another favourite of mine. This is just so elegant. Honestly, you have to come here. If you're anywhere near Bath or even an hour away, travel because this is just the most stunning place with the most stunning dresses. So that is it. That is a wrap. I had so much fun doing that. It was just amazing. Honestly, you obviously saw how stunningly beautiful her studio was. If I was getting married again, I would 100% go there. The selection that she had was incredible and the fact that she designs um, a range that she does of her own wedding dresses, which is just so lovely. And she's got just the most elegant style. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country, come down to Bath, spend the day in perfect day, book a hotel bath is so beautiful it's in the perfect spot it is right in city center and you can get to all the shops and restaurants from it it's so close it's actually next door to a hotel um the abbey hotel so i would 100 percent say come and just try some wedding dresses on because it is so beautiful and yeah i i'm just blown away with what she's done in there and I had the most amazing time. As you can see, I'm so happy. Um, so now will be the job to get past my hubby and say, shall we renew our vows? <laughs> I would love to renew our vows. I mean, I really would. And I would love to buy another wedding dress and I would love it to be a relaxed day that my children could see. Um, my youngest always says, mummy, you got married and I didn't see you get married. So he would love to watch us get married. Um, again <laughs> the reason um, I would do it again is because we got married very very quickly so we got married five months after we got engaged and I couldn't have my pick of wedding dresses because I had to pick off of the sale rails because there wasn't enough time to order me one in as I think it ran over Chinese New Year which meant you know it was just not possible and so unless I was gonna spend something like four thousand pounds which I wasn't prepared to spend, I had to choose what I chose. And, and I liked my dress at the time. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it, but I didn't love it. And I never went, oh, wow. And also my style has changed so much. I'm only just finding myself really in the last year or so with my style and what suits my body shape. And so I went for something that was very princess-like, whereas now I would go, as you know, very plain and elegant. But yeah, as you can tell, I had an amazing time. I will link um, their studio down below. It's now quarter to three and I'm in Bath, so I need to get back, pick Oscar up from school. We're gonna go to the park because the weather is beautiful. And then I'm gonna get Spencer, so I'll get as much footage as I can of those two. Say hello, big bro. Hello. He's very tired, Oscar. Is he? Because he's got his dummy in his blankie. <laughs> How grubby you look. So we've just got back. Um, I didn't take any footage at the park because there was too many children there. This little monkey's very tired, aren't you, darling? Are you tired? Are you tired? So I thought I would give you a garden update. Thank you, Oscar. Of where we are at. So where do I start? Um, this here is gonna become building. 
So this is gonna become our gym, which I'm really excited about, um, which means we're moving the hot tub over to here. So not ideal, because hot tubs are not the most attractive looking things, but the kids love it and we don't use it enough for the fact that it's too far away. So that is gonna go on a raised sort of bit here. Um, and then, what Della? Yeah, of course you can, just let me finish. And then this, ooh, this is our patio area. We're not actually meant to walk on this at the moment <laughs> because it's not been like grouted or pointed. Um, this is the back of the house, which you guys would not have seen yet. So that's how that's looking. And then we've got this lovely big area here. Um, so Simon did all of this. He built all the planters and he did all the groundwork, which is amazing. Um, and then we've had these little walls built out of the same stone as the house. So the vision for me is sort of lounge furniture over here, which we've ordered, sort of along this line somewhere. Um, we didn't go for a corner sofa because I feel like they're too restrictive. So we went for like a modular um, set, which I will reveal when it comes. Um, and then also I've ordered a big three meter wooden outdoor dining table. Yes, darling. Yeah, you can. Um, which is probably gonna go somewhere here. And then around the hot tub, we're gonna have something built to sort of screen it. Uh, and then we've got a little step going up here. I've ordered some coping stones to go on the top of here. So they are gonna take about seven weeks. As with everything, takes ages. And then we've had this lovely path built, which will take you all the way up to the gym. But we ran out of patio slabs. So we're waiting for those to be delivered. Um, but that'll go all the way up to the gym. And then all of this soil has got grass seed on it. So this should grow again. Um, and that's it really. It's all looking a bit of a mess at the moment because we've got building materials everywhere and mud and everything. But once the grass grows, it will be gorgeous. Won't it, darling? What do you want to film? Oscar wants to film. What do you want to film? Whoa. And <laughs> so this is how easy our dinner is. I've literally just got some miniature potatoes, peas and sweet corn. So I'll whack that on for 20 minutes and then literally pop these in the oven for 20 minutes as well. So it means I can go outside. Oscar's asked me to go outside with him and play. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven and then go outside and play. Someone is very tired, aren't you, darling? Someone is not very tired. You're gonna come outside? Look what Oscar's done. Oscar's set up this cute little setup here. How sweet is that? Little sweetie. Here they come. Hello, Spencer. Hello, darling. Oh, look, you're gonna sit on there? Say your words. Do I look tired, Oscar? No, you don't. Are you sure? Sure. Because I am. Is that mine? That's my drink, not yours, mummy. Yeah. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away I am now sat down. I've just made myself a hot chocolate with marshmallows. It's like a light hot chocolate, but I'm sure the marshmallows make it not light. And I am going to show you what I'm, what I'd sat down to show you, which is a glossy box. So I was very kindly gifted a glossy box. And um, this is something that I have been subscribed to in the past, so I know how it works. It's basically a monthly subscription and you get loads of beauty goodies in it. It's a really, really nice way of trying out new goodies if you don't want to spend out on trying them all 
Um, so it's just a nice little surprise. It's a lovely treat to get someone for their birthday, maybe like a, a six month subscription. And they've also given me a code, which means you will get your first box at a fraction of the price of a normal box. And that is now on the screen. And also I will link it down below. So I'm just gonna open this box with you. This is March's box. And I love the packaging. So you get like a little menu card to show you what's inside. And then this beautiful box. So if you did get it for a birthday present, it would just be perfect. I'm trying to think who I've got birthdays coming up. I've got my little sister. It might actually be a really good idea for her birthday. Um, but this is how it looks. And then inside, I can just get to it. I have opened it, so it was it had like a ribbon round it, which is a little bit nicer than this. Um, but these are all the lovely products you get inside. So I'll just show you what's in here. So I got this Satin Soft, is it Figs and Rouge Ultra Primer, which I'm super excited to try. I haven't got a primer at the moment, so this is really, really good. I also got a Nourishing Mascara. I've got a feeling this is like a vegan mascara. Oh yeah, it says cruelty free and vegan, which is amazing. Um, I'm all for stuff like that. Um, and it's a really, really cool like tube. Yeah, so excited to try that, absolutely love that. This is actually a godsend, this one. So this is a complexion sponge. And again, it's an eco-friendly one. I've got a feeling they donate something for every um, sponge sold. I can't remember, oh, here we go. Planting one tree for every 100 products sold. So if that's really important to you, this is a really good product to buy. And I have actually had it out of the box and it's such a gorgeous sponge mine is on its way out and this just feels so nice and then the last two goodies I got are this hairspray I could have done with this today actually a miniature hairspray Percy and Reed reassuringly firm so quite interested to try that because you know what it's like with hairspray you stick to what you know and I wouldn't really try anything else so it'll be interesting to see what that's like and then I got this beautiful nails ink powder blue nail varnish which is gorgeous for spring so that will be really really nice to try so those were all my goodies in this march box please don't forget to use my discount code and just try it out it's just such an amazing idea um, especially for a gift so i'm definitely gonna use that so that is the end of my day in the life. I know it was a bit of a random one. Obviously it wasn't really a mummy day in the life, um, but I really appreciate you watching. And again, all the support you've given me recently. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe before you leave if you aren't already.